BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry Intermolecular Forces. Now, uh, these are the forces between molecules. I'm not talking about the forces inside a molecule. I am not talking about covalent bonds. I'm talking about molecules attracting each other. So, how do molecules attract each other? What are the different kinds of forces between molecules, not inside molecules? That's a different thing. So why do molecules attract each other? So the first type of force is called Van der Waals forces, and they are very weak. Van der Waals, or London forces, is another name. So if you imagine the electrons whizzing around uh, in an atom, now, they don't spend the, the same time in every place. The, sometimes you might find the electrons kind of on one side or on the other side. The electrons aren't always evenly distributed. The electrons around this atom are not always perfectly evenly distributed. And so at any point in time, you'll have a negative end and a positive end. It's called a temporary dipole. It might not last for very long, but while it's there, then this atom or molecule has a, a positive end and a, a negative end, a temporary dipole. And so if you've got a few of them, then again, for a very short time, they may attract each other. OK, so the positive and negative ends of the molecules may attract just for a short time while the dipole exists. So it's a very weak force. Now, some molecules have a permanent dipole, uh, and we talked about electronegativities in another video. And so some molecules have a, a negative end and a positive end all of the time. OK, they have a permanent dipole. And so these molecules can attract each other all of the time. The positive and negative ends of different molecules will attract each other. Looking at this, hydrogen chloride has a positive and a negative end. And so the negative end of one molecule will attract the positive end of another molecule. So it's a permanent dipole-dipole attraction. There is a special case of this, a special case of permanent dipole-dipole, and it's called a hydrogen bond. If you've got hydrogen bonded with fluorine, oxygen or nitrogen, we get a large dipole. For example, hydrogen bonded with oxygen, we're talking water, H2O, and water molecules have quite a large dipole. Uh, and so water molecules attract each other with hydrogen bonds. They're called hydrogen bonds. One interesting thing, if it weren't for hydrogen bonds, then water would actually be a gas at room temperature and there wouldn't be life on Earth because there wouldn't be liquid water. So here's a summary. Um, if I was to say a covalent bond had a strength of 100, then the intermolecular bonds we talked about, well, uh, the hydrogen bonds, which are a particularly strong example of permanent dipole-dipole, they're about 10. Uh, other permanent dipole-dipole bonds are about 5. And then the very weak van der Waals forces, they're about 1. Okay, so these are the different types of intermolecular force and how strong they are. Here are some questions for you to do. What are the three types of bonding which can occur between molecules? Describe how the attraction occurs in each case and how does the strength of these bonds compare with a covalent bond?